Welcome back to the channel, it's the Bald Bearded Bicyclist, and this week we have the President's Cup Birthday Crit. Um, for our field, the 4-5, it's uh, really just the normal crit, not the 50 laps that the other uh, fields were doing. Um, this one started out pretty good, but um, really coming into this race mentally and um, somewhat physically, I just was not in a great place. and. Um, mentally, it really plays a big role um, as far as feeling like you can chase down moves. Um, I had just gotten over a really bad cold, which um, had me off the bike for a whole week and a half, and then I was out of town and not on the bike. Um, so it was basically two weeks of not riding, and the cold was still lingering. Even at this race, I was a little stuffed up, and... Uh, so going into it, I just I just didn't feel like I had it, and uh, I was um, really kind of disappointed um, because I felt like a lot of the guys who uh, were really dominant in the last few races had just upgraded and that I could do well at this race. Um, so knowing that I wasn't feeling my best, I just was not all there. Um, as far as the start here um, those first few turns um, were just horrible lines and I was hitting my brakes watch the guy in front of me um, in the blue for, uh, his name's Sam from Project Echelon and he corners really really well um, those first few turns he did not have to surge at all he was right on the wheel in front and he looked like he was barely doing any work well, meanwhile I'm was spiking up to like 700 watts to get back on his wheel um, so really can learn a lot from him um, but uh, the second lap I started concentrating on my lines a little bit and, and carrying speed and uh, I was doing that a lot better uh, but I dumped so much extra energy this first lap um, but I started to uh, just focus up um, like I said, mentally I wasn't all there, so it took me a little bit to uh, sort my shit out. So we are um, just crossing the finish line for the first time, so we uh, are really only about three and a half minutes in. Uh, no, two, two and a half minutes in um, at this point, and I'm really hurting. Um, you know, my heart rate's at 175 uh, for me. That's that's high. But I really have to remember to tell myself that first five minutes are just, they're going to sting. Um, you just got to push through, and eventually uh, the pace does calm down a little bit. And I, in the moment, always tend to forget that uh, my lines are a little bit better on um, this lap. I'm not having to surge um, like crazy. Um, so comparatively, I, I'm not working as hard, but my heart rate is still just kind of stuck. Um, over 170 is, is when I'm, I'm definitely hurting, but I mean, 400 Watts is much better than 700 Watts coming out of that turn. Um, this one, um, I hit it hard, but I probably didn't need to, uh, because then I just kind of fly up into the back of everybody else so um, I think I was just expecting to get gapped as much as I did the first lap and that didn't happen um, but I'm trying to you know get back in the draft here um, I know that Sam and Drew um, Drew is in the red shoes red red kit and uh, they're both really strong um, probably the, the two strongest riders in this race I knew that going into it um, so I'm trying to stay near them and just see what happens my heart rate is starting to come down now it's 160 so I'm, I'm finding the groove a little bit um, and I'm just waiting to see what happens here There's there are some gaps opening and I'm kind of, I know in my mind, I'm like, well, I know Sam is going to close gaps. He's not going to get dropped. 
but he's kind of looking back and I'm not really sure um, what he's up to um, whether he's trying to let a gap open and then uh, jump across so that he can drop some people or what so um, this hill is always people always push it really hard um, up that every lap so again now my heart rates up again um, the uh, rider from once again racing you'd see him there in the green and orange kit he was having a bunch of mechanical issues um, I think his his uh, shifting kept jumping around on him um, so there's a bit of a, a gap opening up as he was falling back drew attacked you can see him off the front a little bit and uh, so there's a bit of a space in between pretty much everybody here and even behind me there's gaps um, so it's it's pretty strung out right now I'm just trying to carry speed that wasn't bad I think this was really one of the first times I'd ridden behind Sam um, so I was kind of learning how good of a wheel he was to follow. I could have gotten much closer to him. You saw how he took that turn. He just had so much speed. Um, I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> Especially not being one of the strongest riders um, in the race. Having the technical still skills to uh, keep speed high would be extremely helpful. We're moving uh, 30 miles per hour, and uh, again, my heart rate's 175, so I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm not quite on a wheel either, so I'm not doing myself any favors as far as draft is concerned. Now, now I am, which is good. Obviously trying to take a couple of positions, I get one. Hit it hard up the hill again. I really, I mean I know it's easy to say now, but uh, my heart rate was really high, but there I definitely had an opportunity to uh, move up if I wanted to. Um, and maybe fill the space between Drew and uh, Mark uh, from Pursuit Racing, who's in the uh, yellow and green kit up there. Um, but honestly, I think I was just trying to, I was keeping my eye on, uh, on Sam um, and knew that if I was able to stick on his wheel, I'd hopefully be okay. People didn't take that turn as fast as they had. I uh, think speed's definitely starting to die down. We're not pushing it like they were before. Uh, but it's making these corners a little bit easier for everybody. So I'm really trying to watch Sam's wheel, stay on him, and uh, watch the lines that he's taking and carry my speed like he does. <clears throat> uh, every time uh, if you find a good wheel uh, try to learn from it um, I did surge a little bit there but you can see it did carry a lot more speed and Sam and I both just kind of shot up um, past the other group so um, took that one a little bit better um, so even if your entry speed is not super high basically if you're able to carry it and then just give a tiny bit of a boost coming out. That's a lot better than going really fast into the turn, slamming on your brakes, losing all your momentum, and then having to really power out of it. So I think this is where Sam might be going, goes off the front. Um, there's a few preems in this race that uh, come into play. Um, 
where he attacks really hard. It actually, it might be the next lap because I didn't hear the bell. But when that first preem comes, he attacks hard and uh, really rips things apart. So you can see I'm actually pretty comfortable right now. Uh, my heart rate's 157. Um, I was really concentrating on trying to get all the way over to the right here before this turn. Um, so that's why I was kind of off the wheel a little bit. But let's see where everybody hits it. But I honestly should be feeling pretty decent. Um, 160s is kind of my threshold heart rate, so um, you know I should be able to hold whatever that effort is for uh, at least the duration of this race, which is really only 45 minutes. see behind us um, there's some gaps opening um, the the front group is doing a little bit better of a job of just staying on each other's wheels although I'm starting to drop true right now so those four guys are really strong you can see I'm, I'm I just had to go to 800 watts for a second there my heart rate's back up uh, Sam's on the front he's just pushing it so and because he corners so well too Everybody's struggling to keep up with them. You can see the big gap between Greg and Mark. Um, Greg's in the BBC kit. Um, so, you know, with, with somebody who really knows how to corner on the front, so I kind of took that well, and then I think I second-guessed myself in the middle of that, and I hit my brakes and lost a ton of momentum. Huge gap open because Drew then jumped around. Now I have this huge gap between... Greg and I, I'm pushing 500 watts. There's a giant gap behind me as well. So I can't really count on anyone coming around me to help close it. I am just caught in a very bad position. Um, you can see how far Sam is just, there's a huge gap between Mark and him. So, um, you know, those, the three guys behind him are able to work together right now. I'm still holding over 500 watts and I'm really hurting uh, to close this gap. I do get on, finally, but I think I'm just seeing stars at this point. push it again and I haven't really recovered from that last effort so I'm, I keep letting a little bit of a gap open it's taking me a little bit too long to close these doing a good job of still trying to think about my line rather than just following um, everybody's wheel they were off to the left I wanted to take that wider so I could pedal through and make sure I uh, didn't get gapped at all but <laughs> I'm just getting gapped just because I'm tired and I'm not holding it 600 watts I think this is where I have the mental game just kind of comes into play again I was coming into this week just not really expecting to be able to perform and that is not how you want to go into a race you got to just put it aside and just give it everything you have um, and uh, I, I just was doubting myself and watching them go into this turn where I knew I couldn't quite, quite keep up I mean I took it pretty well it came out of there 24 miles per hour um, without surging too much, but I just couldn't close it, and then I wasn't really paying attention. I should have jumped on, on these wheels as they came around. And I try to give it a little bit, but I mean, 400 watts is not going to get it done. They're pushing really hard. 
and then I drop back down. I'm under 200 watts. I'm just trying to catch my breath, but the race is riding away from me. And I don't even think I looked to see if anyone else was behind me. This is John. He comes around me. And then... Uh, see if I even try to get on his wheel. I up my power, but it doesn't look like I tried that hard to get on it. I mean, I, I got closer to him, but I didn't truly get on his wheel, and then obviously we get to the this little... I wouldn't even say climb, but this place where everyone punches it a little bit because it's slightly elevated. He gaps me again, and I think just I just give up. So from here on out, I uh, I basically just ride TT it, and um, I think I came in. Yeah, I don't remember. Not in the top ten, um, but it was a it was a tough race for me mentally, and uh, afterwards I just felt really down. Um, but you gotta let it go. I really have to give myself some grace, knowing that I was sick and I was off the bike, and so what? Training gets uh, derailed. You know, I, I think everybody has the uh, idea that everyone else is on perfect form and that their training has been going super well all year and uh it's not the case um you know everybody's got their uh their ups and downs so um you know i gotta take take my lumps and uh kind of after this race um talked to some other uh, more experienced guys got some advice and um, decided to start a new training program um, the race after this freedom run um, which i will post in a couple of days was originally supposed to be my a race and um, with all of the lost fitness and i my current training plan was still having me taper into that which just didn't make any sense and there was no way I could get back to peak fitness before that race anyways. So um, I started a new high volume plan to you know, try to get as much, pick up as much fatigue for the last few races of the season as I can. Um, and I'm gonna go into Freedom Run. I have already raced that, so I won't give it away, but um, I went into that um, no longer thinking of it as my A race just thinking of it as a training race, wanted to have fun, um, get over the mental stuff and, and stop, you know, trying to uh, hold myself to some weird fitness standard that I, you know, am no longer at, but um, just see how well I can do in the race and, and make better moves. And uh, so uh, pay attention to that, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll be posting that in a couple of days. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the race. I mean, I don't think you need to see me uh, do another five laps by myself. But uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching it. And I uh, hope you like the videos. Thanks a lot. Oh, and uh, the podium for this race was Sam Garber in first, uh, Drew Scott in second, and Mark Streb in third.